Root canals, are they safe or not? There was a movie called Root Cause on Netflix. It ended up getting taken down, most likely because of some sort of information, but it did cause a lot of panic in a lot of people, specifically with root canal. So just some background on the movie. It's about this guy named Bailey who got a root canal and he started having a lot of symptoms for years afterwards. He said that he experienced a lot of mysterious health problems, including chronic fatigue, depression, and headaches. Eventually, after 10 years, Bailey found out that his root canal was failing. And based on a lot of experts that he went to, he found out that this was causing a lot of his problems. And throughout this video, Bailey interviews a lot of these experts, and they make some very serious claims. One of them even made the claim that 98% of breast cancer patients have a root canal on the same side as their cancer. Now this raises a lot of questions for people who have root canals or need to get a root canal. Now at first I wasn't gonna make this video because I didn't think it was necessary, but I have had more patients come up to me and talk to me about this. Some of them have asked me if I think root canals are safe. Some of them have even asked me to extract their teeth that already have root canals, even though there's nothing wrong with them. And there's also been other videos on the internet about people saying you should never get a root canal. So I thought that I should at least give my two cents from a dental perspective. So let's start with what exactly is a root canal. So let's say that you have a tooth and you get a cavity. A cavity is basically this decay that has eaten away at your tooth and it's formed a hole. So ideally you can just do a filling or if it's a little bit bigger, you would do a crown. But if that cavity spreads to the pulp, then it can cause a lot of pain, it can cause an infection, and it can even kill the tooth. So a root canal is done in this situation instead of extracting the tooth so you can save that tooth and still chew with it. So first the dentist will clean out the decay just like doing any other filling, but then the dentist will also clean out the pulp inside the tooth. Then once this pulp is all cleared away, the dentist will look for these canals inside the tooth. The canals are literally that. They are these canals that travel inside the tooth roots and basically help feed the tooth and feed the pulp. So every tooth is different. Sometimes the tooth just has one canal, sometimes the tooth has multiple canals. However many canals a tooth has, a dentist has to clean out every single one. So the dentist will probably use a different series of files that go in and out of each canal to kind of shape it and clean it. And they'll also use a disinfectant. Then after they're cleaned and disinfected, each of these canals are sealed off with something called gutta percha. This is basically this biocompatible material that seals off these canals and prevents any bacteria from getting inside. So the goal here is to get rid of any infected part of the tooth and also get rid of any pain that the patient is having. Now let me just say this, root canals are helpful for the vast majority of people that get them. And the success rate of root canals is over 95%. Now you might be wondering why isn't the success rate 100%? Well, nothing, nothing in dentistry or in medicine is 100%. No surgery that you're gonna get is gonna be 100% successful. There's always the risk of a recurrent infection or something not going right. So for this movie to pick apart root canals because of it potentially failing or causing an infection is very misleading. Now let's go over some things that the movie did get right. Yes, there is a very big link between what happens in your mouth and what happens in the rest of your body. And I talk about this a lot. Your mouth and your body are not separate things. Your mouth is still part of your body. So if you have an infection in your mouth, yes, it's gonna affect the rest of your body. This is a huge misconception because a lot of people come into my office and they're not so concerned that they have a dental infection. But if an infection happens somewhere else, then they would definitely be concerned. An infection is an infection. Whether it's in your mouth or a different part of your body, it's still affecting your whole body. One of the most clear links we have with your mouth and body is gum disease and diabetes. Does one cause the other? We don't really know yet, but there is definitely a clear link between the two. And the same goes for other diseases too. And this is why your oral health is so important. If you do not have a healthy mouth, you will not have a healthy body. And the movie also mentioned that no root canal is actually 100% clean, meaning there's always gonna be some at least nerve tissue or some bacteria that are left behind. And yes, there is a chance that you could get an infection down the line from these bacteria. But what the movie made it seem is like every single root canal is remaining silently undetected and causing some chronic problems in your body. This is a flat out lie. There is a big thing that this movie neglected telling you and it is called your immune system. You don't have to clean out every single root canal 100% every single time because we rely a lot on your immune system. Remember, the goal here is to save your tooth instead of ripping it out of your jaw because we want to make sure that we get as many years as possible that you can enjoy the foods that you like. Now, is it true that root canals can fail? Yes, like I said, the success rate is 
over 95%. It's not 100%. But this is also why it's so important to go to your dental visits every six months because your dentist can check for any signs of failure in your root canal. And not only is it rare for a root canal to fail and to cause an infection, but most likely you will have symptoms if that does happen. Most likely you'll have some sort of abscess or some sort of pain, or the dentist will be able to see something funky on an x-ray or something, and then they'll be able to investigate further. And I also have to mention this, it does depend on the doctor, because some doctors just don't do a good job. Sometimes you can get a very badly performed root canal, and in the case of Bailey, when I briefly saw his x-rays from the movie, I could see that his root canal was not done very well. A badly performed root canal is much more likely to cause an infection than something that's done well. And remember how the movie also mentioned that 98% of people with breast cancer have a root canal that's on the same side? Well, first of all, there is literally no scientific evidence that supports this. And I was unable to find any sort of literature anywhere that came to this conclusion. Also, the fact that the root canal has to be on the same side as the cancer is not based on science. That's based on something called the meridian system, which is not scientific proof that is traditional Chinese medicine. Now, I don't have anything against traditional Chinese medicine, and I do think it has its uses, but there is literally no proof that it works, especially in the way that it's talked about in the movie. The movie also talks about how no dead tissue is ever left in your body, except for when you get a root canal. Well, yes, it is true that a root canal kills your tooth, and we keep the tooth in the body. And it's also true that if you have a very serious infection with your foot, then most likely you'll need an amputation. But it's different with your teeth because you still have this calcified tooth structure that's left behind. The remaining tooth that you have is still remineralizing, just like your healthy teeth. And you can still get a cavity in a root canal treated teeth, just like a normal tooth. So if you eat carbohydrates and sugar and you don't brush your teeth, that root canal treated tooth will start to decay. A foot infection that has gas gangrene will spread 100% of the time if it is not amputated. A root canal treated tooth, on the other hand, will very rarely have a recurrent infection. And also, it'll only experience decay if you do the wrong things with your diet and your oral hygiene. So, should you be scared of root canals? No, they are part of routine dental procedures. Yes, it is true that you might get a badly performed root canal, and that's really the case with any dental procedure, so you gotta make sure you go to a person that you're trusting. And if you do get one, make sure you go to your follow-up visits. Don't start neglecting the dentist, because then there's no way of them checking if something's going wrong. And you may also want to get a 3D scan done, something called a CBCT, because sometimes the normal 2D x-rays that the dentist takes won't really show everything. So if you get this 3D scan, it can check everything in this three-dimensional image and show you exactly what is going on with your bones and with your teeth. So if you have a root canal and you're worried, it doesn't hurt to ask your dentist to get a 3D scan done. If the dentist doesn't have one, then they can always refer you to someone to get everything evaluated. Really, root canals are done to solve three problems. Relieving tooth pain, removing infected part of the tooth, or trying to save the tooth instead of pulling it out. If you choose to have a tooth pulled instead, that is entirely at your discretion. Just know that that can also cause problems too. You can still get an infection after you get the surgery done to get your tooth pulled out. And also, now you're gonna have a missing tooth, so you may need to get a dental implant or something to replace it, which is another surgery. And if you don't do anything to replace it, now you're gonna put all your other teeth at risk because now you're gonna be chewing more with the rest of your mouth and you're gonna put your other teeth at a higher risk of cracking or fracturing. And also the teeth that surround that missing space, they don't tend to stay still. They tend to drift in and close and fill in that missing space. So now you're gonna potentially put these other teeth at risk and potentially lose more teeth in the future. Also, the materials for root canals have advanced a lot throughout the years and they are way more biocompatible now and the success rate has gotten even higher. So I would hate for this movie to scare you into missing out on a perfectly good solution to save your tooth. Also, if you have multiple root canal treated teeth, don't go trying to get them all taken out because of one stupid movie that doesn't even use science science to back up its claims. Using the sauna is one of those things where it actually feels like it's too good to be true. Like you're telling me I can actually get benefits from sitting in a sauna and relaxing? But the more I look at the data on saunas, the more I see that there's actually some real benefits to using them. Now one thing that really intrigues me is that it can potentially 